I'm Nicolas Saint-Lay. I'm, I'm uh, working for Odoo as a technical consultant and as a, a member of the SAS team. And now I will show you how to configure email servers in Odoo. It's some kind of recurring question we got at support at Odoo, so I think it's a bit necessary to explain how to do this. So we'll have uh, mainly three points, some kind of introduction, then how to configure an outgoing mail server, and how to configure an incoming mail server. So some kind of introduction. First of all, you have the capability to configure your own uh, domain name for emails within Odoo. If you forgot this step, the step further will be more harder to achieve because uh, if you do not configure this uh, domain, uh, some, fields, some fields will not appear in, in Odoo, like the aliases, uh, to create objects from emails. If you are using the Odoo SAS, you have nothing to do, it's already configured. You all, all already have a configured mail domain for uh, your instance, which is basically your instance.odoo.com. One first point is the SPF. The SPF is uh, configured through the DNS and explain, just explain which servers can send an email for a given domain. It's configured through DNS and for some provider like uh, Office 365 or G Suite, they enforce the use of S SPF. So you should uh, configure SPF for, for your domain. The way to configure uh, SPF is just uh, saying which server can send an email for your domain, and you can include other SPF records. Here you have the example of a customer which will send email through Google and also through Odoo.com for his own domain name. The next point is uh, the Kim, which uh, create a signature for the email. You have some um, cryptography of the envelope of the mail. It's also configured through the DNS. And finally, you have DMARC. DMARC is a standard which control the SPF and DKIM alignment uh, on the email. It's also configured through the DNS. Here you get an example on how to configure DMARC for a given domain. Uh, you, you configure DMARC uh, progressively. So you have a percentage of mail which will be checked and uh, you have the possibility to use external services like Postmark to get reports. On the Odoo SAS, you just have to put two TXT records on your DNS, one CNAME, and you have SPF, TKIM, and DMARC working out of the box. As a developer, it's also useful to be able to test the sending of email, outgoing emails from Odoo, but do not really send them. So you have here two tools, MailCatcher or MailHog. MailCatcher, I think, is not maintained for two years now. Those mail servers are acting as a real mail server, but do not deliver email and you have a web interface to check what have been sent. So you start a mail hog process on the port uh, 25. Odoo will be able to send emails, 
but email will not be delivered to the final user. Email will remain in Mailhawk, and with the Mailhawk web interface, you can control what has been sent. You have also another tool, which is called Trax, to test the sending of emails. So with just a command line, you can check if uh, what happens when you send an email to Odoo. Swax also permit to add headers. That means if you had the correct headers, you can check the process when you, let's say, answer to a ticket through email and so on. So now we will configure the outgoing mail servers. So the most basic web uh, email server, it's configured through the command line. By default, it's running on localhost, on port 25. So if you do nothing, by default, Odoo will send emails to localhost on port 25. And when you configure it through the command line, it's available for all database on the server. Here are the parameters you can use <coughs> to configure the mail server. And uh, of course, you can also configure them in a config file instead of the command line. <coughs> it's also possible to configure a mail server within the database. The difference is that this email server will be available only for this database and not all databases like it was with the command line. In Odoo, when you create some mail templates, you can choose which mail server will send your template. You need to configure those mail servers here before being able to select them in mail templates. How to use your home domain, how to use Odoo to send emails with your own domain name on odoo.com and odoosh. Odoo manage the reputation and the, the blacklisting of servers. So you can safely rely on those mail servers. When you create an instance on the SAS, you cannot send as many emails as you wish. There are limits of emails, and when you reach those limits, you need to ask the support to um, set this limit a bit higher. So a recurring question is, I have an Office 365 uh, account, and I want to send my emails from Odoo through my Office 365 mail server. First, you need to configure a connector on the Office 365 side. That's the first step. You have the link with the official Microsoft documentation, and you have three kind of connectors. The first one, uh, permit to authenticate using a username and a password. You cannot use this connector with Odoo because when you use this authentication method, you can only send emails with the from uh, field equal to the authenticated user. Or do you use the same mail server to send emails for every uh, users. And when Odoo rely in coming messages, he also send emails from other domains. So you can authenticate with the IP address. You cannot neither use this authentication method because on the Odoo SaaS, multiple databases run behind the same IP address. If you use this authentication method, every database on the same server will be able to send email through your Office 365 account. So you cannot use this one. And the last one is only sending 
uh, internal mails. And Odoo needs to configure uh, to notify customers. So none of them is usable by Odoo. So there is no connector available on the Office 365 side. Then you need to use another mail server to send emails. To do this, you will use the Odoo servers, the Odoo mail servers, and as Office 365 enforces the use of the SPF, you need to configure SPF on your domain. And configure SPF on your domain is just adding include double point spf.odoo.com. And that's it. Same exercise with the G Suite. I would like to use my G Suite account to send emails. You have the link with the official Google documentation. You can authenticate with a username and a password. And on the G Suite side, you will enable SMTP relay. And on this account, you will allow any addresses into the allowed senders section. So the authenticated account has the ability to send emails in the name of anyone. And you can also use, of course, the Odoo mail servers. And you need also to configure SPF. And now, the incoming emails. First of all, Odoo is not a webmail client. It's based on a cron job. A cron job is running and pull emails from the mailbox to push them as objects within Odoo. Or not. You can also configure an external mail server to directly post messages within Odoo. All this processing is based on headers on mail headers. If you send an email from Odoo to a customer, this customer answer to your email, the answer will come into Odoo. But if his mail client remove headers, the response will not reach the right object within Odoo. To configure an incoming mail server within the database, you can configure either a pop or an emap server. It's based on cron. It's not possible through the command line. You cannot use that, uh, you cannot use your own mailbox because Odoo will remove mails from your mailbox. So you will lose your, your emails from your mailbox. This will create new objects, post messages, and so on. If you ever use the Odoo support, we are using the, the mails through uh, project issues. And on the SaaS, the, um, the cron is only running once an hour. So you have a delay between the, res the reception of the email and the processing of the email. To avoid this delay, on the SAS, there is a process which instantly processes the email. When you create an instance, you automatically have your instance.odoo.com as a domain, and you can send emails to this domain. It's not based on cron because it's, an, it's instantly processed by your process. It's also available on premise. You can deploy this on your mail server. And this is done through a script which is available in the Odoo sources and some kind of configuration. And here you have some kind of configuration for postfix, for example. Another point are the mail aliases. The mail aliases explain to Odoo what to do with an incoming mail. With an incoming mail, you can create a new object. You can choose 
uh, which object to create. Here, in this sample configuration, this alias will create tasks in a given project. So, emails, the interaction between Odoo and mail servers, almost easy to set up. If you understood what I said today, normally it's quite simple. It's compatible with the state-of-the-art standards. You should not forget the mail aliases. Generally speaking, when you have an issue saying, okay, I get an email, it doesn't create the right object. First of all, have a look at the mail aliases to check what are the rules that Odoo will follow to who with your emails. And it's highly configurable. You can do whatever you want with those mail servers. Thank you. <laughs>